All right, guys, we're going to go over how to replace these Volvo Penta trim rams when the pins are frozen. It turns into be a total nightmare. I have a 2001 Chaparral Sinesta 233. It's been a great boat. Owned it since new. Been mostly saltwater uh, boating throughout the years and had a great time with it. Overall, it's been a dependable, awesome boat. Um, you know, I want to get back on the water. I thought replacing these trim uh, cylinders would be easy. We can see how it's leaking right there. Um, just a little bit of oil coming out. I decided I want to get ahead of it and try to replace these things or pull them off and get them rebuilt. Um, it should be easy enough. Those two, uh, you know, that area right there where there's a pin in there and there's one toward the boat where that other blue line is. Um, those get frozen. They get frozen on there and it is a nightmare to get them off. I beat these things with a 40 ounce hammer and that was a bad idea because I ended up mushrooming the end of it until I figured out a way to get them off which I'm going to go over with you. Not to mention these um, uh, couple of hydraulic lines they turn into a nightmare getting those off so be very careful with that. We'll go over that in just a minute. This just shows you after I had them off. Um, there's a ground that goes into that hole right there but that actually if you pull that ground out it actually is hollow all the way into where the pin is at inside there. So you could try to spray some penetrant in there and try to chip out some stuff to, to help make it uh, come apart easy. I didn't find that out till later, so I didn't get a chance to try it. Um, I did spray penetrant on this thing for weeks, and it really didn't help me. I had to get out the torches, which we're going to go over in just a minute. Um, you know, just to let you know, these things are about 800 bucks a piece if you go to replace them. So I was trying to get them rebuilt, thought that would be good enough. Um, you can see right here, that's where it was frozen in. I was able to get that one out before because I've had this out drive off in the past when I had to pull the engine out to replace an oil pan. So those were a little bit easier. Um, it doesn't get seized inside the middle here. It's actually got a big enough cavity to, to float through. It gets seized actually in the ram itself. Um, when you replace these, make sure you order these rubber grommets that go in there um, because it's easy to overlook that and you really, if you're going to go back new, go back with everything. I sent these things off to get rebuilt and they weren't able to um, uh, they weren't able to successfully rebuild them because those fittings right there, when I pulled those out, the threads came out with it. And again, I'm just circling the area that it's frozen. It's not frozen inside the outdrive, it's frozen on the hydraulic rams themselves. Uh, so what you're going to see is how we fix that in a minute. Um, if it wasn't for this guy, uh, Jeff, this is a 45-year Honda mechanic who can do anything. I had to call him to finally talk me off the cliff and figure out how to do this thing. And First thing we had to do is take a crow's foot and file it down so it was uh, thin enough to get inside the boss area where it clips on, which you'll see right here. Um, and you know what the bottom line is? A lot of patience, a lot of patience. This probably took over an hour to get this off going back and forth, back and forth. We even added some heat to it here and there. Um, and in the end, it might be hitting on in the end it was now, um, you know, we're, we're right not now. enough might to salvage the rams because it pulled the threads out of the rams but the oh at least the threads were still good on the hydraulic lines it saved me a little bit of time having to try to replace those because those don't look easy either but the bottom line is at the end of the day slow and steady wins the race um, back and forth back and forth and maybe you can salvage at least. With a regular maybe you get probably. lucky you can get both of them. Um, yeah. But it took some time. Jeff has the knack of Success. patience, and I just well, want to use we'll the strength and manage yeah. and turn things up. So feels you can see we, we got them off. Can we get lucky end. twice? But it feels again, normal. The threads I see some shine in this coming out of there. Yeah. Couldn't fix those threads. Yeah, it took a little um, bit of thread. So maybe at not the end enough. of the day, uh, I spent a lot of time trying to do things to, to make it easier and it didn't work. So Jeff brought this gear puller over, I think it's an air conditioning gear puller for a clutch on a car, um, heated it up and just took some time, Don't, not heating the pin up, but heating the boss around that, it actually a hydraulic ram. That part is right there is where you're heating. Don't, you don't want to heat the pin up because the pin, you'd actually want to cool it if anything to have it contract. But, You'll see here, you spent some time going back and forth and, it off the and uh, making sure to distribute the heat evenly without setting this thing on fire. Uh, 
after a little while, like I said, I've already tried hitting this with a hammer, and that is not the way to do it. This is probably your best bet, and it's hard to get a good grip on this as well, but it did work. And slowly but surely, you'll see oh, as damn. he starts pulling this, it starts to move just a little bit, ever so slightly. Um, moving? And, yeah, that, that was a good day at the end when yeah. he got that off. So, yeah, both see how it's sides, out towards the end? Um, toward the boat, they were both pressure seized on in this. there, and it just took some time getting that through. See, this is loosening that. Yep. So, we'll continue through. I can see on the inside, um, too. Again, yeah. patience, heat. And that's where, this is where I messed up from hitting with the hammer. I would messed in the end of that pin. So, it really didn't push can through. Can you push it up? Uh, Jeff had to grind it, and now we're using the 40 ounce hammer and a, and a drift a, a socket actually to help knock it through and not mess it up um, but you know all this takes lots of time guys uh, you're not going to knock this out if it's seized quickly but you can get it just takes a little, little, little yeah. bit of time I was at a loss I tried every different type of rust penetrant really had no luck with that this is really what it took was was uh, heat heat and this mechanical puller to get that off so um, at the end of the day set these things off to get rebuilt they came back and the threads are still messed up inside where the hydraulic lines go so the company did take them back but they didn't charge me then i tried to get some used rams bad idea they were in worse shape than what i have um, i ended up buying new hydraulic rams uh, this just shows you the pins i just tried to clean the pins up a little bit for going back together and they, you know this is stainless steel those pins are about 80 bucks a piece um, if you can salvage them you might as well you save yourself some money so uh, it just all these things that seem so obvious i'm sure the concept of taking these trim rams off and putting them back on is super easy to do with mechanical knowledge you can probably figure that out but it's just dealing with rust and corrosion that really sucks all right guys got it back on the water life is good what Florida's all about, fun and so and boating. So good luck to y'all. Give me a like, thumbs up if this helps. See ya.